My name is Brian Storm, and I have more community clips of the week for you guys to not let you leave here disappointed. Unless you came here disappointed, then I'll try my best to put you in a better mood. Joseph Mama with a messy like assist. You may not have seen it there, so we'll slow it down and rewind in just a second. But also look at this finish. Nice pass, nice shot from him. And let's, let's go back right now. Look at the goalie, look at his leg, and look at how innocently he kicks that puck to ignite the play. This is like one of those times when you look both ways before you cross the road. And you don't see any curves, so you cross the road. And you make it to the other side. And then you get hit by an asteroid. Whatever that means, because I have no idea. That's never happened to me. I guess this is what it looks like when a drunk Russian is playing the game. The drunk Russian just missed his breakaway, and I think he called it, but I'm not sure. So look at that Canadian flag in the background. I bet this drunk Russian has the map of Canada hidden in that flag. He prepares to take over the country. Oh shit, I think he's looking at me. Better cut this clip. Yeah, my good friend Jimmy, a Canadian, sent this in, and I guess this breakaway is what it looks like when you get struck by a meteor. This next clip by Amua, I present to you guys the floop. What is the floop, you ask? I don't know, I just felt like naming it the floop. Like, jeez, don't look it up in a dictionary, you're not gonna find it. Actually, you know what, now that I just looked it up on Urban Dictionary, it's a bunch of star- Oh my god, look at that poke check. That was the floop right there as my friend buries this breakaway. Anyway, it's a bunch of Patrick stars traveling along a similar path. And since we're wearing pink jerseys and we have like five arms, if we include our legs and our head as arms, it all makes sense. Take a peek at this one-timer mirage that happened with my friends. I was the yellow guy making this pass and I completely expected blue to take this shot. And instead, red ends up shooting the puck. How did this happen, you ask? Well, let's slow it down or let's just let this clip continue. It goes off of blue skate to red for the 1D one-timer. That was insane. This next clip is called the WAPA because I put a few letters together and it came out with that word. So we'll call it the WAPA as I just make two sexy moves to get this breakaway. Slow it down. I do the one touch deke and let the puck go as I go the other way. Full one guy, and as this guy barrels in, do a stick handle to the right to go right past him. Nobody cares about the toe drag. Another clip by me for you guys. I'm the green dude in this, and this is what I do to used tea bags. We're on the power play. I'm kind of circling around trying to get into a better position. This guy decides to go down and give me the tea bag. And I just throw him into the trash. That's all I do with use tea bags. Not gonna reuse them, that's disgusting, but look at the patience that I display. I see the goalie down on his knees, this is an easy screen goal. Goalie's not gonna be able to see that to make the save. Maybe if he has x-ray vision. Steel Hoon again with a similar clip to my one-timer mirage, this is the one-timer fake. Fools everybody in the world, but the AI comes in to take the one-timer. This was also in the dying seconds of the period to make things that much sweeter. If it isn't a potato, but it looks like a potato, then I bet it will still taste like a potato. Trying to make me fat by feeding me potatoes? But Nathan shows us his baseball prowess just in time for baseball season to start. Wait. It already started? Oh, I forget other sports exist. We're gonna slow this down immensely because the little potato might not be able to handle the speed. The puck goes off of the iron, then off of the boards, and he comes in with the blues guy on the top left. Just baseball bats this puck into the net. That was actually pretty cool. If you guys want me to attach a story to your clip, send it over to brianstorm.hotmail.com.